Greetings everyone and welcome back to Avon Colony. Now, a quick forward before we begin this episode. This is actually the third time that I've started this episode. I've had two crashes and unfortunately both Hi, of them I've infuriatingly close to, to the, the point where I was going to end the episode. Um, so as a result, please forgive me if I repeatedly stop to save my progress throughout the episode because uh, there is no water save as yet. Now, referendum update. We've got 88% of the, of the vote. That's fantastic. Colony doesn't have enough tunnels to get me around. There are too many people where I live, and we can be... Ooh. This one I've seen in the previous episode. In fact, I was working on that, and I'll be working on that in this episode. But this one is new. Let me uh, pause that. Why can you barely breathe? Oh, that's not good. That is, that is really not good. The air quality is taking a very sharp turn for the worst. Okay, well, there is a couple of things that we can do straight away to try and help that. I believe we've got some unupgraded air filters. Let's get those going as a matter of urgency. And I had completely forgotten to pop down an air intake up here. Now, next to the like distant um, things like mines or geotherms that are further out, one air intake should be enough to prevent the pollution from traveling down the pipe and getting to the main city or anything like that. And in fact, will usually be enough to deal with the output of a single um, thing like a, a, like a geotherm. However, closer to the city, I, I, I think I prefer having the air filters. I guess I've got a couple of air intakes, and they might work very well together, but uh, air filters seem to be a good option there. Now, I'm going to lay down some tunnels, because I have an idea of what I want to do at the very beginning of this episode. So, let's get this going. We want to try and resolve something that we're doing with our uh, uh, transport to and from workplaces. Now... Obviously, I would like to hook up to these nodes. Not quite sure what we're going to be doing with that one yet. But certainly the copper and the metal one. Uh, next step. Right. We've got a couple of farms in the middle here that really aren't doing very much for us compared to their upgrade level because they're so hemmed in. Also, they're taking some very, very good real estate for our major structures. So, I propose we move those farms. We're not going to be going with greenhouses. We are going to be going with farms. Uh, the first one will be a melon farm. I believe that one is you making about 10 melons an hour. So, that is a very good upgrade. Uh, yes, ten melons. Though it is only a level two, so you know we've got to take that into account. Uh, next, after that, we are going to want corn. So, what can we see with corn? Ten point A, ten point A, ten point A, twelve point six. Yes, I would like a twelve point six cornfield there, and um, then we'll get rid of this one, which is doing twelve. Uh, well, I mean, it is doing twelve now. That's still a better cornfield. Incoming shard storm. Sensors have detected an incoming storm of ice shards. Those small, some of these shards have the potential to damage your colony's buildings. Now, um, the way I have been dealing with ice shards is I don't just try and preempt it by repairing everything and then constantly repairing them. I let my buildings get reasonably damaged before I actually try to repair them. Um, I'm not sure if that's more uh, efficient in terms of my resources because it costs nanites to repair something. For example, we can look here. And I saw something hit it. It's down to 95%. This one... Ooh, wow, it's already done 77. You guys, it takes two nanites. This one's at 89, takes two nanites. And just slowly things will get messed up by these ice shards. But you, at some point, will see a little, little indicator bar showing that it's been damaged. And then you can react to it then. It's at that point that I, I um, was uh, repairing them in the two last episodes and i'm going to continue with that again i've not had enough time to properly experiment to see if that's the most efficient way of doing it but i'll be keeping an eye on that now we've made all of this room in the middle we need some storage though quite badly actually oh drag we do not have the nanites for that but we're very close to getting the nanites for it come on nanites we cannot store the nanites for it of course which is horrifically bad luck uh let's go ahead and place a storage building right there Use a bunch of nanites for that. And hopefully that's going to give us enough storage space to get all the nanites we need <laughs> to build this. Oh, that is that was such terrible luck. Such terrible, a terrible luck. election coming up okay. soon. 87% of the vote. From your Water levels are too low. Ooh, we'll have to have a look into that. Right, there we go. That should sort us out and we can uh, then have that upgraded over time. In fact, we're going to need to be on fairly high speed because we have no nanites right now. 
I lost this I need your help to balance our supplies. Got a bit of a problem. Coach. We plan to party, but well, I think we overestimated the number of beer drinkers up here. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Actually, I should probably start uh, working on that for you. There we go. Um, right, we've got 43 nanites. That should be enough. Now, let's quickly check on the air because that's actually a higher priority for me than commute times. Uh, it's not amazing over there, but it is getting better. We could probably easily fix that with a single top tier air um, intake right there. That should fix that one. We'll have to, we'll give it a little bit more time because I've got a bit more I want to build over here before I start looking at fixing that up. Um, however, one of the commute problems is right there and it's very easy to fix. This one, not as much so. And this is a water pump. So where's the next best water location? 90%, pretty much around this lake is 90%. That makes a lot of sense. So the same over here? Yes, it is. Then we shall move a water pump over there. So there we go. In fact, is this water pump? It's 20.4, this is 23. Oh, that's actually... I wonder why that's, there's a difference there. I'm not really sure. Okay, maybe that one is also a 90% uh, one. Oh, I'm facing that was like 80 percent. Oh, well. right. So that will help us out there. So these places now have better um, access to the tunnel network. Let's have a look at our population. Uh, average happiness is 87. Average health is 99. Uh, that's okay, I suppose. Unemployment is one percent. Really? How? We've got all of our jobs are filled. Hmm. That's a bit of a curious one. We'll have to have a look at that. Nevertheless, uh, next up then, I wanted to start moving these around, though we can actually build a chemical plant next. Let's go ahead and do that. We go. We'll have the chemical plant just around there, I think. Easy access to pretty much everyone, and that'll also uh, sort out some of our uh, unemployment, I hope. It's going to have a bit of an impact on everything, really, but uh, we'll see how that goes. It is going to drop our job build percentage. Possibly enough to make me worried about it. Or maybe not. 89%. Uh, maybe. Right, distillation mission objective. Build a chemical plant. We have got 46 breads. Fantastic. Okay, I would say uh, we've got a transport coming in. Next up, I am going to want to clear away this area. Now, from my knowledge of the, of the previous two episodes I tried to do this in, I moved this solar plant, put a road there, but it still quite wasn't quite enough to help this one. This one, it seems the solar plants just need to be next to a road for them to be happy. So, we're going to try something different this time. While I was uh, getting myself a cup of tea to console myself after the, the second crash, I, was, I continued thinking about the game, and I think I may have a really neat little way of fixing that. Oh, we've got a new mission, so uh, I will check that out in just a moment. And we'll plonk down a battery about there. And that should be deconstructed. We'll get the nanites back. That is great. And then we'll have another solar generator right there. We'll get rid of this one. Cycle that one, please. And and let's check out this new mission. Now you should begin farming the required ingredients for mind mold. Entari and Zeno Sage. Once you've enough Antari and Xenosage, use your chemical plant to manufacture 100 mind mold. Very well, I, I will do this for you, certainly. And we want Congratulations well. on your referendum Hooray, victory, we boss. Win. Right, you've won 86% of the vote and will continue as governor. Colonists who voted against you said, there are too many people where I live, there's too much, too much crime. What the dickens? Too much crime, eh? Oh, I guess there is. Hmm. We need to deal with that. That is now a new high priority task. Um, no, I don't really want to put it over there. I'll put it right by here, I think. That'll be a fairly central location. Be able to get around there. Well, actually, let's go for the one right there. I think we'll be able to reach more or less everything. Right, so we are continuing to upgrade this. I want to drag. We need seven nanites. Speed things up a little bit. Seven nanites. There we go. Oops. And we'll continue to remove these structures as we need to. 
Right, referendums. We've got 18 mammoths and 46 porridge. I'm very pleased with that. I hope you're keeping the happiness of your colonists As your population as grows, you you'll need to Remember, find them more suitable accommodations. Please build a skyscraper. As a skyscraper can house a great number of colonists, it's a good idea to build it somewhere central to your colony to allow easy access to all of your colony's various structures. Very well. Okay, so this is going up and up and up. And at this point, we can happily recycle the rest of these. Uh, we would actually like to be able to go for that there. And then... Did I just recycle both of them? I did recycle both of them. What a derp I am. It's not quite what I meant to do. To be honest, I am a massive derp. There we go. And then we'll pretty much do the same over there. That'll give us two spots where we can put something else. But I think... That will actually have a, a bigger impact than normal. This one is going to be two power higher than normal. Generate 28. It should normally generate uh, 26. But this one should be generating... Oh, no, it doesn't double up. Ah, okay. Well, that's interesting. I thought they uh, had a cumulative stacking effect. Ah, right. We've got a bit of damage here. Let's go ahead and repair. Now that that's down to 66%, it'll cost one nanite to repair. Let's go ahead and get the uh, repair drones out there to fix that for us. Now, we need to place a skyscraper. That is going to cost a ridiculous amount. So, we're probably not going to do it for a little while. I'll be honest with you. Let's get rid of these. Thank you. Uh, how are we doing down there? We're at 100% capacity. Can I upgrade this at all? I can. So, let's go with that then. Now, the chemical plant... We uh, can upgrade it for 60% faster manufacturing. I'm not sure that's going to be necessary. We've got... We can make sake, corn syrup for out, of, out of corn. We can make beer out of barley, antivirals out of water, and antibiotics out of water. Wow, okay. Well, I, I see no reason not to be making these. That sounds like a pretty sensible idea, actually. Right, we need Xeno, Sage, and Antari. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's make some beer and sake as well. I'm not sure what we would want corn syrup for, so I'm going to wait on that one. But for these plants, I'm going to have to enable inedible crops. And once we do that, we can actually have a look. Um, so these are the two that we need. Uh, it seems there's going to be a lot of places where this is going to work out. 13, 14 right there. I'd kind of like them to be close together. 13. What about you? Th wow, that's very low. Uh, we could get a, a reasonable amount there, I suppose. 9.2. Any decent ones at 9.7? Not very much over there. Yeah, it seems that we've built on some of the best places for this particular crop. Alright, well, as I want to use the greenhouse for this, we'll plonk that one there. I've just got to wait for a, a couple more nanites to be able to build the um, Antari, I believe. There we are, so that's uh, Xeno Sage. And now we want Antari as well. I'll pump that one right there will do. Just, just opposite. That actually kind of makes sense. We could have gone for regular farms, but I'm happy to uh, get these ones, especially because we uh, may be able to build some other really interesting stuff. For example, we've got incense, spiced bread, entari bread, entari oatmeal. Those look like things that I may want to be making. Now, with that done, how, how fast is this going through? Uh, it's going through these, not the company. Uh, we're going to have to wait until we've got some of them in order to uh, pick that up. But you know what? Let's go ahead and upgrade it. At this point, I want to check on the air quality again. Uh, it's not great. It's not great. It's not great. Yeah, we definitely need something over here to help with the air quality. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and build another air intake right there. Because this, this is more of an agricultural and industrial area, really. It's, we've got a, a habitat there, but most of the habitats and those sorts of services are toward the middle more than anywhere else. Uh, right, we've used up a lot of our nanites now but we should be able to tell you to start manufacturing mind mold so there we go make me some mind mold however before you really get to that too much um policies can i oh there we are can i tell my people not to eat mind mold am i right with you drinking soda and even sake and beer and all sorts of things that's fine 
I don't really want you taking my mold. Oh, good. Okay, they don't, they don't start with it. Right here. That's fine. Crowding food freedom purpose total. That's fine. Inventory. That's okay. Um, colonists policies. Let's have a look at these. Water rationing. Job switching ban. Colonists cannot transfer fair to new jobs if they already have a job. Immigration ban. Prevent all immigration. Uh, that actually might be useful when our capacity gets too much. Immigration allowed. Allows um, colonists to leave the colony if they wish. I would actually like to turn that on. Power monitoring closely monitors electrical usage of all citizens in habitats and skyscrapers, reducing their electricity usage by two each. Forced overtime? What? Martial law? Protest cease and all protested colonists return to work. Prohibition, free addiction treatment. Hospitals provide free addiction withdrawal treatment, reducing those effects in areas they cover, but increasing power costs. Free gaming. All colonists can play VR games for free at home. Increases electricity costs of habitats and skyscrapers, but increases entertainment morale, especially for unemployed colonists. Drone auto repair. Construction drones automatically repair any damaged structure if they are idle. Yes! Absolutely yes. That is awesome. Um, I don't, don't think we need the other things, though. I don't want to take down freedom too much. Um, uh, power monitoring. To, mm, no, I don't think we need that one. Definitely don't. Uh, but free gaming, that seemed quite cool. Right, okay. Well, it's getting up to that sort of point where I'm getting a little bit paranoid. So, we're going to quickly save uh, the game. And there we are. And resume. Okay, so we've got importing beer. That is fine. We've got 36 quinoa. We have a new trade mission available. We'd like to research how to convert it, it into entari favorite bread and oatmeal. Oh, right. They're interested in entari. Actually, that's pretty cool. Considering. Yes, we'll, we'll take these things. All right. Now we've got a lot of nanites. Let's have a look at this skyscraper then. Oh, wow. That's a big building. It's a three by three. I don't really want it too far on the outskirts. Uh, hmm. Drat. Ooh. What's up? Hey, what's up? Actually, might be able to place it there. Ah, uh, to get rid of one of these, though. Um. No, you know what? That's, that's perfectly fine. That is absolutely 100% perfectly fine. We are going to move that down here. So, you're going... Let's get rid of you. And I'm going to need to move you elsewhere. But you know what? I've got a, a security drone area here. Perhaps I should have one a little bit further away. Yeah, let's put one... Uh, it's kind of far from the colony, actually. But um, That's right on the outskirts. I'm going to build it over here. No, it's a little bit too close. No, I guess I am going to build it over here, then. Very well. Go there. Now we're going to get rid of this one. There we go, and then we're going to build a skyscraper. Right, what I new mission we got? There's a lot of demand for that mind mold up on the colony ships. Please export 200 mind mold. Oh, very well. Uh, we've got manufacturing, 48 porridge. Fantastic. Let's get some mind mold going up in the transport ships. And now, at long last, we should be able to build our first skyscraper. Right in the middle. It can be. It's going to be able to reach everything. All oh, this grand, working perfectly. Uh, how about we expand this out as well? There we go, speed things up just a tad. There we are. Ooh, what's wrong? Energy battery idled. Uh, that's fine. Um, it's only that one that's turned to idle, actually, which is funny. Received reward for the city. Mission objective, reach population 200. Fantastic, got 57 corn and loads of nanites, and also skyscrapers. 9 nanites and 23 candy. That was grand. New I mission. have a quest for you from the inhabitants of the colony. The colony has reached population 200. Your next goal is... You guessed it. 300. <laughs> All right. I will do my best. All right, there we go. I'll get that one set up. Right, we're just exporting mine mold now. And entire research is going on. And let's see how much we've got. We've actually got a reasonable amount. Uh, Amber Joy. We've got Calcospores. A new similar to similar to caffeine. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm all right with that. Oh! We are! We use corn syrup to make soda. Very well. And we need wheat to make vodka. Let's get that down. Now, my bar and grill should be doing a good job. Plus 15% food quality. I'm thinking... Well, actually, let's just check on the air quality. What's the air quality like? The air quality is fine. So that little spot there is also fine. 
I would like another bar. Bar and Grill Tier 2 right here. But this one is going to be for drinks. There we go. We'll encourage people to get drunk. Uh, let's see here. Addicted 44. Oh. Maybe we shouldn't be encouraging people to get drunk. Hmm. That's not so good. Uh, yeah. A little worried about that one, actually. Bar mode. Increases the rate at which alcoholic beverages and enhancement substances are used. Uh, yes. We'll see, I guess. I, I'm not sure that was the best thing for me to do, honestly. Um, oh, actually, let's get a, a hospital down as well. Because that will help out. In fact, if we get that down, we could actually have free treatment. You know what? I think that might be a good idea. We'll encourage them to get addicted and then help them recover from it for free. Uh, oh. Use antibiotics and antivirus. Ah, right. Okay, I see. 37% of it. No, stop breaking my stuffs. Scoundrel. Thankfully, the redundancy of the way we've laid our tunnels is, is working for us there. Uh, plus 50% healthcare. Yeah, let's, let's uh, go ahead with that one. And I would very much like to check out our policies again. So, policies. Prohibition. Bans the use of all enhancement substances. Um, no, that's fine. Free addiction treatment. There we go. Plus 10 hospital power usage. Minus 33% addiction withdrawal effects. That's okay for me. Uh, right, we've still got a ban on mind mob though. Don't want you using it, honestly. Thank you very much. However, I would not mind at all getting us some... Oh, this is quite quite cool now we're actually making a bunch of this stuff for ourselves i would like some amber joy so i'm going to need calco spores but let's have a look at how we're doing with that so um, we need a lot more nanites how are our nanite manufacturing manufacturers doing um they're kind of restricted i would say to the materials that we've got so that's the bottleneck let's go ahead and build some of these then now, we've got some issues with power, actually. Let me make sure that we're providing power. There we go. That should restore everything. Okay, so we definitely need a little bit more energy coming in. Are there any other geotherms? I see them not if they exist. Any other geotherms? No other geotherms. Wow, that is a bit of a pain. Alright, well, I guess I can just continue making this kind of setup over here, I suppose. There isn't any particular reason why I can't. And then we'll draw that out again. So we'll have, like, these little energy farms up there, which should, hopefully, keep us uh, going. Okay, we've got that. We've finished our research, which is great. We now need to build a mill in order to make those things. Immigration vessel docked. Oh, insufficient power. Okay. Switch to idle mode. Ah, we ran out of power on one of them. Okay, well, that's fine. If it's just a bar and grill that's gone down, that's entirely okay. Um, let's get some more um, solar power going. Uh, we'll wait on the next one. I need to speed things up. We are consuming a lot of food now. And that is something that we need to be aware of. Let's go for the next. We'll pop that one there. Another one up there. And then another battery right in there. Go ahead, start absorbing. Same here. And indeed, same there. Oops. I didn't like the choppiness of the sound effects there. That worried me, actually. Uh, I've already explained. No coffee. No, no, no. You can have Amber Joy, though. If it's caffeine in your grave, then Amber Joy is what you will need. It told me. There we go. Well, once I've made it. You can't have it right now, but soon. Sorry if I got your hopes up. Uh, in the meanwhile, let's check out this. Ooh. Groji. Oh, Calco. That's what I wanted. Um, wow. There's really nowhere that's particularly good for this. Nowhere that's particularly good. 1.2. 3.4. This one might have to be a farm. 3.9, 7.8, okay. There we go, that's a little bit better, 
anywhere better around here. 4.2, 3.9, 7.8, 8.4, 8.7. Okay, we're getting to some of the better places now. Okay, I'll go for an 8.7 right there. Unfortunately, this is something that we're going to only be producing in the um, summer months, but that's fine for now, I think. Get another solar energy farm there, and a reward is available. Hooray! Let's actually just get some of these out of the way. Things to do with Antari. 54 nanites for that. We've also got 20 nanites, 50 wheat for moldy. And the following was added to your colony's inventory as a reward for completing the expanding further. 21 nanites and 53 wheat. Fantastic. Let's well check out this reward. I'm pleased with the progress of your colony. I am you too, actually. select one of the following resources. Uh, probably nanites, honestly. That's the one I need right now. Right, Hello, mission. Chief. I have a new opportunity for you. Mm-hmm. So you want the entire bread and entire oatmeal. I am not entirely surprised. In order to manufacture those, we'll need a mill. And we also need more storage. Uh, so let's get this upgraded. There we are. And everything else should be turned on. They should be active. Peace remote, bar mode, yes. And in fact, upgrade it again. I do not want to waste any resources. There we are. A new new mission mission available. Available. We suspect that creep spores may attack at any moment. Build a scrubber drone station in your colony at a location that covers as many structures as possible. We expect the creep to appear near the lake, so make sure you have a good coverage on that side of the co creep. Uh, drones, scrubber drones. Um, well, I'm not sure how to make them. Schematics not available. What the Dickens? I do not know what you want. What do you want from me, crazy people? Uh, I can build this more or less anywhere, and I would like this a little bit. Well, I guess I could put it here, and I could have maybe walls going up there, perhaps, and all those lines. No? I, st I still can't build it. I, I don't know what you expect from me. How bizarre. How utterly, utterly bizarre. Things have been very, very strange with the game today. Uh, see, that is absorbing power, that is absorbing power, and this one too will absorb some power for me in just a moment. Uh, the milling mission is complete. That one's absorbing power. Fantastic. Right, so, mill. I, if I upgrade it, would do what? Upgrade the tier 2. I guess it would just move... 60% uh, faster manufacturing. Okay. So, I can make porridge. Just like a barley. Yes, I like that. Entire oatmeal. Out of entire. Yes, I like that too. I will make some flour. Uh, and then I can make entire bread. And I think this will be grand. Make me some flour. Please. You must always be... Always be, uh, always be... Polite. Even to your manufacturers. Uh, I think we'll just work on entire bread for now. Uh, still can't build it though. I'm not really sure... We have a new trade there. mission available. 350 Maybe it could benefit your uh, bread. Ah, that should be fine. Not a problem at all. What's my population like? 96% housing capacity used, jobs filled, and 91%. Our water is going down rather rapidly, however. Um, that is a cause for concern. Uh, we could have a second water pump right there, actually. Um, I see no particular reason not to, so sure. Let's pop that down. Right, let's have a look at my commute times. Uh, this is about the only one that's bad. Hmm. Alright. Well, what about my air? Uh, starting to get a little bit worse in some places, but uh, overall not terribly bad. Okay, well what we're going to do then... Have I got anywhere that I can put this? just a nanite manufacturing facility, so it isn't a huge of huge importance where I put that, I don't think. Also, I definitely want to hook up the mining there. And then we'll decommission this one. There we go. Get that all done for me, please. And then we should be good. Because at that point, I can just draw up a little line right there. 
And once that's done, I'm thinking commute time to perfect. Ah, oh, glorious. Our colony is doing well, everyone. It only took me the entire episode to do the one thing that I intended to do right at the beginning. Uh, being me is sometimes quite trying. Um, I do want to improve... Oh, it's quite choppy at the moment. Uh, I do want to improve my storage capacity, however, so let's pop another one of those down and then draw out a uh, connecting road there. And that should help us out quite a lot with getting everything done there. Nine more immigrants have arrived. Eight more immigrants. Okay. Still can't build this, though. I'm quite concerned about that one. Is that going to cause me some sort of massive issue with completing the game? I hope not. But on that note, we're going to be wrapping this episode up. I think we've done fairly well for ourselves, all things considered. In fact, we're going to build another mine over here as well to uh, help support the nanite manufacturing. And after that, I'll probably build another nanite lab. Um, just so that we can get as many as we possibly can, because that's quite often what's holding us back. But that is it from me for now. I hope you're enjoying the series and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, take care of yourselves, everyone.